A church in Springfield, Missouri claims that a woman's amputated toes were regrown through prayer during a service hosted by James River Church. Now critics want proof. I bet they do. If this is real, which I think is possible, where are the x-rays? Mm -hmm. Where is the doctor to testify to the x-rays? And where is the regrown toes? You have some reason to show the toes. And then and then you're definitely gonna have photos after, right? Uh -huh. I just need some before photos with the iPhone. There's been documentaries that have been put out on how people have wires in their ears and they're fabricating some of this stuff. Ray Rock knows the real thing. <laughs> I know an example of the real thing. No, he, he knows. Bruce Lawn. This is the story of, the story of, <laughs> The story of Delia, how do you De say her name? Delia Knox. Delia Knox and an actual documented healing that Ray saw personally. So set, set this up. What is this? Who is this? When did this happen? Well, and I, how are you I didn't witness, witness it there this personally. Healing. I, I witnessed her after. Okay. And I knew her before. Okay. Okay. Delia. And uh, what church is this at? I don't know. Okay. This is this is Delia was a lady that used to come to my church and lead worship all the time. Okay. And my parents and I used to host her when she used to come down and she was on a wheelchair because she had a a, a car accident when she was uh, a, a little kid. Uh -huh. And so she's been in a wheelchair her whole life mm -hmm. uh, ever since that car accident since she was a kid. She got married in a wheelchair, okay? Mm -hmm. And in this Somebody said she was in a wheelchair for tw 23 years. 23 years. She was in a wheelchair, and and in this video, like she she they pu they pulled her for you can watch this later, but they pulled her for because she started feeling a sensation in her legs, you know. And this is a if you watch another video where they did an interview on her, you know this woman didn't even want to come to this uh, service because you know how many times she's been dropped by a healer because they're like stand yeah, and then stand, they drop her and they drop her, Bro. so. so <laughs> That's We're so not bad. trying to discourage people's persistence in wanting healing. You know what I'm saying? And so um, right there, she's talking and she's they're asking her, hey, what's going on? And, she, and he's telling the crowd, hey, she's feeling sensation in her legs. Everyone start worshiping God right now mm -hmm. and start asking God to heal our sister, you know? So if you if you keep watching the video, she doesn't just... When 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 the healing comes, she doesn't just run down the hallway. It wasn't like, staged. It wasn't you know staged. Saying? It wasn't like she literally. You ever seen when a, a a a small? You see, that's her trying to get up on her own. Okay, she doesn't start running. Right, you know, she she she, lit, she literally looks like a, a a baby calf that that was just born. You know mm -hmm. how they're just figuring yeah. out how mm -hmm. to walk. When you mm -hmm. said she wasn't able to walk, and like she lost her ability to walk at seven years old in the car accident, right? Seven or nine years old. Seven or nine. So yeah. so at this point, she's in her thirties, right? She's in her thirties. So you that's know, a lot this, of years. She's of, even I think older there. A lot of years of not using those muscles. Absolutely. So if you fast forward. As you fast forward, there, in that moment, she literally stands up on her own, mm -hmm. and all, all they're doing is holding her up, because her 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 legs are are not and used so, to and, walking, and, and she's buckling right here. And she's so this, buckling. So this isn't this like uh, she goes from in a wheelchair to 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 you know jumping and doing yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah, you see in the, in the she's videos. Not, she's not she, she's not doing CrossFit right now. God was yeah. like, I'll give you a fixed vertebrae. I'm not going to give you leg muscles. Look at how she's walking. Look at how she's struggling to pick up yeah. her legs. He said, you're going to have to work for those leg muscles. All right? <laughs> you see that? Crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's probably right? what the and real thing the looks video, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It doesn't look like the actors. Right. Right. You see how, like, it's like she never walked before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost like when someone goes to therapy, mm -hmm. right, after after being bedridden for so long, they have to learn how to walk. And the other video I sent you, Ruslan, shows shows her um this was done it was done by i think the 700 club or cbn or whatever mm -hmm. uh they show her dancing with her husband wow. you know what i'm saying and this is a person that um i grew up seeing leading my church in worship some mm -hmm. on sundays in a wheelchair in a wheelchair my like my dad was helping her into her into her van <laughs> you That's know what i'm nuts. saying so and, so, um, and then you saw her after and i seen and i saw her after for a couple years so whatever. look this is her falling down yeah Right? This is not her running around the church. But right? no, she's and able to bend her knees. She's, like that's this like is the her trying part. to figure out how to bend her knees. And what? Look at the smile on her face. Yeah. And so, um, and I'm not saying that God can't instantaneously heal someone mm -hmm. 
on where they can do that either. Okay, but I am saying, and you could look this up. Don't take my word for it. But the most common word in the Bible for healing mm -hmm. in the Greek, in the Greek New Testament, is therapeuai. Okay, where we get mm. the word therapy. Mm -hmm. Okay, which means a healing that happens over a process. When Jesus talks about the ten leopards, right? He said, "Hey, go dunk yourself. Go dump yourself in this river yep. a few times." And the Bible says. As they were going to show themselves to the high priest, they started getting they started getting their healing. And once they saw the high priest, they were they were healed. Wow. And there was that one leopard that came back to thank Jesus. And Jesus told that leopard, "Hey, not only have you been healed, but you've been made whole." Wow. Even in that passage, Jesus makes a distinction between, "Hey, healing is great." Yep. But knowing me. Mm -hmm. And having a heart of gratitude and having a connection with me, yeah, is 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 the main thing. That's good. Let's so That's so so. Speaking of evidence, here you have an actual documentary made about her by the Seven Hundred Club. Hey, you want to see something crazy? Over fifty one percent of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything we have going here. I appreciate you. And uh, let's check some she, of this Yeah, out. she let her tell her story right there. This part is really cool. She's literally... I was semi-conscious, then I went unconscious. And so then I woke up in the hospital. Although the others escaped with minor injuries, the crash left Dahlia paralyzed from the waist down. Doctors told her she would likely be confined to a wheelchair the rest of her life. From there on, I had to... I mean, I went through, like, what do I do from here now? Where do I go from here? Dahlia was determined to live her life. An accomplished gospel singer, she continued her work in music ministry. But her life was hard. I would continue to go and sing, and I would push myself, you know, into the restroom or the shower, or whatever. And then I would drag myself into the car, and I would push myself. It was one of those things where you had to drag yourself. You had to mm. push yourself. Dahlia believed God would heal her as people prayed constantly for her. But after a decade passed with no changes, she started to lose hope. I didn't like going to altar calls because every time I would go somewhere, the service would change to a healing service, and somebody would try to pull me out of the chair, and I've been flopped, dropped, flopped, and flipped, and oh you know, goodness. to the point. Could you imagine? Yeah. Could you imagine? Yeah. You having this ailment and then people dropping you? Gosh, that's and sad. shout out to her faith though. Yeah. That yeah. even though she's been dropped, flopped so many times, right. that when God inspired her to try one more time, mm -hmm. it happened. Yeah. yeah. Where I was like, I just can't go through that anymore. While attending a Christian conference, she was captivated by one of the speakers, Bishop Levy Knox. It was so amazing because he didn't see the wheelchair. He saw beyond the wheelchair. He later became her husband and a major source Whoa. of inspiration for Dahlia. Whoa. I remember him taking me in front of the mirror at home. How's that um, for the red pill? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And just say, I want you to see yourself standing. He would take me and dance with me and just, you know, as my legs would dangle, he Aww. would take me around. And he was one that always continuously tried to put hope and faith in me as to think beyond that, even though at times I was frustrated about it. By 2010, Dahlia had been in a wheelchair for over 22 years. In August, wow. she and her husband attended a conference hosted by evangelist Nathan Morris. The evangelist went up and he started speaking on healing and all that. Had I known it was a healing service, I have to be honest, I would have never gone. That's why this fake healing is so harmful. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. crazy. It's because all these goobers with the fake healing will deter people away that, that like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. actually one healing and, and how, ah, oh, man. She was at the front of the church with her husband Show when Pastor Morris started praying for her. Here I am confined for 22 and a half years in this wheelchair. And for the first time in the longest time, I find myself that something could possibly really be happening. Mm. I said, I'm feeling something in my legs. The power of God is all over the sister right now. She normally has no feelings, but she, she can feel her hands on her, her, hands on her legs. And she's had no I had to get to the heart of it. And the heart of it was, are you willing to risk your pride and take a step of faith, even if you fall? With the assistance of her husband, Delia slowly rose. She later stumbled and sat back down, fighting to block out the doubts flooding her mind. I remember the words that he prayed were, let faith arise in this woman of God. In Hebrews 11, faith is in the present, and now it's standing between two present terms. Now faith is. And I sat there, and a righteous indignation came in me. A righteous anger came in me. I just said to them, I just said, just worship, just worship, just worship, because I wanted to drown everything that was going out, out, out. I just, just worship, just right, worship, worship, worship. Then her husband and Pastor Morris helped her back on her feet. She took a few steps on her own. Then, as the congregation sang and prayed, Delia started walking around the church. My God. Your people will tell you that you can move on your hips. And so I thought, was I moving on my hips? I just started moving my knees up and down, and I started bouncing on my knees. It was like the awakening. This is really happening. 
she began to take those steps and we began to walk. It was like the word, the word that had already been spoken, uh, beholding the word, uh, hearing the word. And now the manifestation of the promises of God was being fulfilled right before our eyes. It was phenomenal. It was, it was life changing for us. Over the following weeks, she says God began to strengthen her legs. Three weeks later, she walked in front of her own congregation for the first time. Today, Dahlia leads worship at Living Word Christian Church. Come on, bro. <laughs> we gotta play. We gotta watch her walk for the first time. Yeah. Where her husband is the pastor. She also dances with him every chance she gets. Wow. Come is on. that her under the hair? Miracles. It's like the, the Damar Hamlin. It's the mind. It's the journey of recognizing who God is. Do a box I jump. Never hate. <laughs> 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 it healed me. Idiot. I would still be pushing through to get into his face. Because it's wow. not about the healing. It's about the journey of knowing that God is there for us. Come on. God is good. It's Come not on. about the healing. It's about knowing that God is there for us. That's, That's right. good, man. That's good. God heals, man. Hey, God heals. We want receipts, though. <laughs> yeah, well, that, yeah, show me the toes. That's a receipt. That right was there. great. Receipt. That was a receipt. That was a receipt. We want to see the toes. That now. was a receipt. They Don't be all ambiguous. Uh, Yo, how how old was that? And they got more video of that than they do the toes. <laughs> yeah, we got 4K <laughs> cinema cameras in our pocket, yeah, and we got yeah. more on the VHS. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my Yo, God. that's Dang, hilarious. Man. That's good. That's yeah. good. Wow. All right. All right. <laughs> We got more Nokia i30 footage than we <laughs> Someone's like, hold on a second. Flip. <laughs> Rolling the camera. Closes it. That's a good point, man. That's yeah. a good point. This is 20 years ago. They got a whole documentary on it. And you mean to tell me you can't show us an iPhone photo or the before and after They had close-ups. They had on, crying man. shots. Zoom dollies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With, with the little VHS scroll going through it because it's like it's kind of messed up. That'll do. That'll do. I'll take it. And what the, weren't those cameras mad heavy back then? Yeah. yeah. They were like there was someone that was, Yeah, there was someone dedicated to that job. Yo. Sorry, God, we're going to get a healing today. All yeah. right. That's good. That's good. All the right. The guy holding the camera needs healing. He's got like yeah. He <laughs> yeah. got shoulder problems. He's got sciatica problems right now. Yo. Make sure you guys follow Ray Rock on all social media. I am Ray Rock. On I am Twitter, Ray Rock. Instagram. Yes, and hopefully we have him back. Hopefully we'll get him to start doing his own show. Come We're going to be Jesus. working on. Uh, he got some of his equipment, so me and Zach going to be working with him tomorrow. I need some space. Yeah, and and maybe he'll be back tomorrow as well. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, um, guys, if you enjoyed this stream. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want to go the extra mile, if you want to go the extra mile and partner with us in our online community for as little as $5 a month, get the replay of these daily streams completely unedited, access to our podcast before they hit the internet, access to our private Discord, discount code for our store, all for $5 a month to keep us independent, ultimately answering to you and only you and never having to take a brand deal and make goofy commercials like these. Our friends at GenuCell Skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023. Using Manscaped during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence. And that's where Mudwater comes in. True Classic has got your pack. All thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SayMine.com. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of Laird or Lady. Objective credit approval rates range from 7.99% APR to 19.99% APR, including 0.50% auto pay discount. If you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about, sign up for our online community for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss you get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams exclusive access to our discord community and early access to our podcast interviews all starting for only five dollars a month